after Israel wiped out a vast majority of Gaza's telecommunications infrastructure. At a recent UN forum, Israel is now opposing a proposal aimed at rebuilding that infrastructure, claiming Palestinian connectivity was a ready-made weapon for Hamas, also stating that the original resolution would distort the reality of what's going on in Gaza and doesn't address how Hamas has used the internet to prepare acts of terror against Israeli civilians. One policy advisor with the digital rights group Access now said based on this rationale, Gaza will never have internet. I mean, that was a vital uh, conduit for people in Gaza to show the world the suffering that the IDF was inflicting on them. These are civilians, these, these aren't Hamas militants. Everyone uses the internet, sure, so to some degree Hamas is going to use it, of course. But we saw the horrors and devastation of this war from civilians. They are essentially begging for help on social media, showing the world, please intervene, help, help us achieve peace. And now Jenk, they're Israel saying, no, we're not gonna rebuild this telecommunications infrastructure that we destroy. Thanks for watching. Our audience has helped build TYT into the media giant it is today. Together we can accomplish anything. Support our work and join us at tyt.com slash team. I mean, they level Gaza, 85% of Gaza is gone. I mean, we have lunatics in Washington who say that it's Gaza's fault. And that they haven't done enough. We have to send them more money to destroy Gaza more, 15% is left. So they say, well, we can't build telecommunications, no internet, no communications, no nothing. They have to live in the stone ages forever. Because if any Palestinian has it, then Hamas has it. Well, does that logic apply to food and water? Well, actually, yes. Right now, the reason why they're slowing down all humanitarian aid into Gaza is they're like, well, if the Palestinians have water, then, Gaza, then Hamas will have water. So then we, so let's cut off all the water. And well, that they, you know, so they slowed down the water and the food that got in, and a whole bunch of people died from starvation. And so this is collective punishment. And but my favorite part of this, or favorite is a weird word to use in this case, but it's such an overwhelming hypocrisy that it's just mind bending. So they say, now we are going to block you having anything in Gaza that would allow you to live a normal life, but we don't occupy Gaza. <laughs> Like if you go on social media now and say Gaza is occupied, you'll get a, a slew of pro-Israel bots and trolls, and maybe even some real people who are like, "No, it's not occupied. No, Gaza is perfectly free." <laughs> I mean, do you have any idea how insane you sound? They're not allowed to have food and water unless we allow a tiny amount. They're not allowed to have electricity. We bomb the living crap out of it, and now they're not allowed to have any telecommunications. But we don't occupy it. Totally, totally free, not occupied. And the fact that it's not free is not our fault, it's Hamas's fault. Hey, look, the next thing they'll say, and I'm afraid it'll be kind of be, might even be literal, given that they just, uh, suffocated them without the water and the wa uh, food for uh, a long time, and still to this moment. They might say, well, if we have oxygen in Gaza, then Hamas will get the oxygen. So we're gonna have to cut off all of the oxygen. And by the way, though, we're not the bad guys, no. Occupying someone for 57 years, humiliating them daily, subjecting them to an overwhelming oppression, and then killing them at our leisure whenever the hell we want. Tens of thousands of their children and their women, but we're the victims. We're the oppressed because they're all dirty, dirty anti-Semites. So we had to kill them. Well, again, under this logic, you're gonna have to kill a lot more people. Because the more you kill innocent children, the more you create what you think is anti-Semitism. And then the more people you have to kill. And it goes in around and around. And then they go, I can't believe people are against Israel. I mean, all we're doing is saying you're not allowed to have anything. You live under our thumb and you'll never have anything because you're a dirty Palestinian who I view as all terrorists. And I can't believe you guys are upset with me. Well, look, man, you wanna be a lunatic, that's your business. But now understand that if you're still supporting this kind of lunacy, you to the rest of the world, I'm trying to help you. I'm your friend. I know you don't believe I'm your friend. You think, oh my God, this guy's telling the truth about Israel. Shut him up, shut him up, right? But I'm trying to help you, you idiots. You're making the whole world hate you. But now you're gonna say no, no, no electricity, no telecommunications, no internet for these, all these Palestinians, they're all guilty. <laughs> I'm the good guy, I'm the most moral army. No, you look like the biggest jackasses in the world. And again, if that hurts your feelings, take it up with Netanyahu. I'm not the one doing it. 
He's the one doing it. I'm the one reporting it accurately. No, I know, no, Israel is the greatest, one most wonderful thing on earth. Guys, if you don't live in America, you have no idea how frustrating it is to live here. And to have everyone in mainstream media and almost all of our politicians lie 24 seven and say the most absurd things you have ever heard. And then say you're the bad guy for pointing out things that are true. It's lunacy, Jink. I mean, one the way to defeat Hamas, and, and might I mind, remind our viewers that Netanyahu propped up Hamas, but I put that in the parking lot. The way to de defeat Hamas is to give self determination and true liberation to Palestinians so that you are not breeding hatred by which is coming because of the way the Palestinians have been treated for generations. I mean, that is what's going on here. So the true freedom for both Israelis and Palestinians comes by true self determination, safety and security for Palestinians, safety and security for Israelis and Israel. That is the way to gain it. As short of that, we're going to be revisiting this type of situation, unfortunately, generation after generation, as we are right now. It's never going to go away until Palestinians have true self determination. That doesn't make it right. I mean, obviously, without a doubt, what Hamas did on October the 7th was rotten against international law, immoral, you know, killing 1200 innocent people, wounding others. Since that day, this collective punishment that is going on is wrong, the starvation that is happening, the famine like conditions. And we know that the international court has labeled what Israel has since done to the Palestinian people as genocide, as other leaders in some of these world organizations going against international law. Our country is going against our own law, the foreign, the foreign Assistance Act that the president is just thumbing his nose at that basically says once it is brought to an American president's attention that a country that we're supplying military aid to is blocking humanitarian aid, we must stop supplying them weapons. But we haven't done anything. So Jink, the answer to this, and Jordan, the answer to this lies in self-determination for the Palestinian people. That is ultimately how we protect Israel and Israelis. And to get rid of right wing leaders, Net Netanyahu, like Netanyahu, who's just pouring gasoline literally on the fire. Yeah, well, actually. And how the tents burned in Rafa, that's again, very literal. So uh, last quick thing here, guys, to Nina's point, there's actually an easy way out of this. You think there's no way there's an easy way. Yes, you just make a peace deal like you did with Egypt. And that worked, it worked for 40 straight years, 50 years. It's it, They haven't uh, fired a single bomb from Egypt into Israel. It's pr provided the safe haven that you wanted. You make a similar one with the Palestinians, you give them a fraction of the West Bank and Gaza Strip that they started with. The, uh, uh, and I know we, your leaders are lying to you. They say, "Oh, the Palestinians don't want a state. They'll never take a deal. They just want to kill us all." That's lunacy. It's totally untrue. It's a complete and utter fabrication. Hamas has already even renounced their charter publicly. It doesn't matter what's in their goddamn charter. You always negotiate with your enemies, not your best friends. So that's the Egyptians hated the Israelis ten thousand times more. Anwar Sadat was killed because he made a peace deal with the Israelis. But it worked, peace deals work. And it could get not only the Palestinians the state, but it could finally provide a safe haven for people inside Israel. The people preventing it are not either pro-Israel or anti-Israel. They're The people preventing it are pro-war for their own political purposes. And the, the current strategy is asinine. So they what they do is they go, okay, we're gonna get all of our uh, people in in America, uh, whoever you know, they can influence. Whether it's politicians that they look flat out bribe through campaign donations, uh, media figures, etc. Whoever they can influence, right? They don't control everything. That's ridiculous. But whatever influence they have, they say, okay, we're just going to ban all criticism of Israel. Imagine if it, anyone else did that. Like, let's take my ethnicity. If they said to me, okay, we're going to ban all uh, criticism of the Turkish government and Turks, and we're gonna say it's anti-Turkish, and that's the most toxic word in the English language now. And you just can accuse anyone of being anti-Turkish, and they'll have to shut up forever. They'll get arrested if they do a protest of you. They'll be imprisoned, they'll be kicked out of college. You get carte blanche. You know what I would scream? No, they'll hate us, they'll hate us, don't do that. <laughs> so now, that's the strategy that they've 
God, okay, we have a great idea. We're just gonna make America pay all of our bills. And then if anybody criticizes it, we're gonna tell them that they're shut up, you're canceled, you're fired, you're arrested. Well, if you did that to my ethnicity, I would be livid because that would mean that everyone else would hate us. That's obvious human nature. How can you be this blind and stupid? So please, for God's sake, make a peace deal. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.